Hello there, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here back in the Thousand Week Reich, in which we're playing as a beautiful, beautiful Germany under Mr. A.S. Mr. Albert Spirando. Anyways, so I asked, last time I asked you guys quite a few questions, but the most pressing one is this. Whether we should go with Party Chancellor Gerby or Sideline Gerby. Now, if we do either one, we got to keep in mind about the path we can take with Team Steps, Believer of Mr. H-ism, or Spare Daddy's Way. And I'll put it like this. Uh, there's not a huge amount of, st uh, or, you know, support for Tame Steps. That's probably the weakest one out of, at the time of this recording. So, we definitely won't go down this way. There is quite a, a little bit of, a little bit of support for Mr. Believerism, we'll call it like that. Believerism. But there was a tremendous amount of support. Like, probably... If you include the, like, the number of likes, people who voted for Spears Way, oh my goodness, it was, just, it was a complete blowout for Spears Way. But, I do, we do have to talk about this. Gerby, Gerby, Gerby. So, there's support for both sides. Either we do Party Chancellor Goebbels or Sideline Mr. G. Overall, despite there being both there's support on both sides, there was more support for sidelining him, which, you know, we don't want to sideline our allies. But by doing this, then we can do Spears Way, which was overwhelmingly supported. So, Gerby is a threat to Speer's leadership, being one of the more full runners alongside Speer himself. It's only natural that he suffers the same fate as Rudolf Hess, forced into retirement and sidelined from party politics. Delegated some lesser uh, positions within the Reich, and support for Speer decreases, so be it. Oh, yeah, that's quite right. Um, We'll see what we can do. Uh, I might fade in, fade out here, just because I'm not really sure this is appropriate for us to have so much negative political power. I'm not sure if there's, like, if that's supposed to go away eventually or not, so... I might just give myself some political power, just at least reset ourselves to zero, or give me just a little bit, so we can actually do some support stuff. But we'll see what happens, just because I'm not going to wait over 1300 days to get out of this deficit of political power. That's... we don't have time for that. Uh, forming the Spear clique, we definitely want to do that, so... We'll go through as many focuses as we possibly can. Ooh, that's not good. Good work. Uh, at least nothing ha no one died. But, ooh, opening Gotham International. What an airport. A beautiful airport. Also, I asked you guys yesterday whether I should, like, core this area for uh, Burgundy. Because we did give Himli, or Himla, uh, his own stuff. So we figured, you know what? We're not going to core. I asked you guys, and you responded with, nah, just, they're probably still French. Let them let stay right there, which is cool with me. Military police. Uh, let's see. Engineering. Yeah, let's see. Anything else around here? Uh, this other stuff. Chemical stuff. No. We actually lose research speed, which is not cool. Uh, I'll just go with military police, because those are pretty useful. Regardless of when we're getting them. Cool. Rudimentary composite ceramics. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Yeah, get some more APC. It's well, only 1% more soft attack and hard attack. That is not very much, my friends. Not very much. Wowzers. Wowzers and Bowsers. Cool. But happy 1954, my friends. It's going to be a great, great year. Hopefully. Oh, look, another carrier. Yes, please. Oh, I forgot to do this off-screen, maybe a little bit. Trying to make sure that you actually have planes on here. That might be pretty useful. Oh. Well, that's the case. There you go. Got the 45 if you can. I don't know why they're limited to 29 each when they have up to 90 there, but you know, no, that's just me. Alright, the him and gall ring. Do that. Because that's a, there's a lot of space on these carriers. So... And this is... You know what would be really cool if we got into war against America? And actually, or even the UK, and use our navies. So, because since nuclear warfare shouldn't go off, if as long as we don't send nukes, we'll see what happens. Attempted terror attack, good work. Um, I'm not sure how to get rid of that at this point. Eh, I guess more carrier organization would be great. Just because it says the country has been haunted by Swiss terrorism, so we can not take that. Uh, there's probably a console command for us to actually do, like, do whatever decisions we, we really feel like. So I might do that, maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Oh, we got more political power. That's nice. And stability. That'll actually be very beneficial for us, too. Nice. A moderate approach. We'll get more research speed. Oh, Mr. Schmittler's ideas. Or ideals. The Spiel Manifesto. Okay, so he loses political power. Okay, cool. We might want to do that first. And then we get even more political power. Uh, old school politics. Not bad. More political power. And that increases. Oh. Remove the great power struggle. Now, the great power struggle for us. SS infighting. Leadership coalition, which we will lose in a few months the great power struggle which we lose 10 percent political power which is not the most important thing getting 10 percent more will help 
offset that as well as getting rid of the minus 30%. So let's do it with ideals. By pursuing Hitler's fullest ideals in Germany, Speer could shape his image as a strong, capable leader and true successor to the great Führer, using a sense of status quo while appeasing radicals with accomplishing Hitler's original goals. Very, very good. Look at all that naval XP. God dang, that's nice. Even that army XP is not bad either. What are we doing with this army XP? 18 combat width? I don't know, man. How many artillery pieces do we have? Negative 756. Hmm. We have plenty of APCs. Oh my goodness, I love APCs. Uh, I... Oh, well... Hmm. We lost minus 1%, that's fine. Uh, we actually lose solid attack, that's interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and do this, just to make sure that we can offset the deficit of motorized equipment for now. And remembering Zephyr after we do... Speer's Manifesto. Hitlerism is unquestionable. The true National Socialism will be achieved, just as what Der Führer wanted. And I, Speer, will be the guiding light of it. So far, none of my videos, whenever I play as Germany in, like, TNO or the Thousand Week Reich, still have not been demonetized at the time of this recording, which is awesome. I'm glad YouTube has not struck me down, but regardless, remembering the Führer. The Führer has passed, but his teachings shall live on. But should these doctrines lay decades ago remain in his full... Speer and his new administration is faced by this question. The decision on continuing Hitler's old policies or bring new, refreshing policies to keep National Socialism up to the current date. Carrying on Hitler's legacy means little to none system reforming, maintaining the status quo from the Hitler era. But some politicians argue that reforming the system shouldn't be considered as abandoning Hitler's ideals. Instead, it could be or should be considered a form of renewing National Socialism to accompany current situations. Finish what he started, of course, and it is a new generation. Oh, oh, hmm, hmm. New path, an alternative. Now, I, I I wish we could do all three. I really wish we knew we could do this. Stay true. So that's the Tamed Steps way, which is not bad, just not as interesting. We can do be Believer, stay true. So if we do stay true, we can do both of these. Or we do Speer's way, a new path. It is a new generation. Oh, wait, we can do this one too. Interesting. Oh, we lose... Oh, I don't want to lose any more political power. Abolish the Honorary Aryan. Ooh. That sounds like fun. Well, we'll do that when we play as Gribble someday. Reforming the SS. Ah, they are supremacy. Oh, he actually becomes reformist. Attempt to God dang it. You stupid god dang terrorists. Don't you hate terrorists? Terrorists just ruin your day sometimes. Maybe your life too, but mostly your day. Uh, there's a Wehrmacht. There's a Navy. Actually, hold on. We have the Navy. Or the Heer. The Heer. Uh, do we not believe in an Air Force? Ooh. Maybe I'm missing it. Stockpile. Purge the High Command. Mm hmm. It's not bad. It's not great. Naval frenzy. Prepare for sea line. Ooh. Submarine stuff. Capable navy. Ooh. Nice. Let's keep doing this stuff, guys. I'm not really sure what else to do here, and that's okay. <laughs> At least we get 0.45. That's a little better. Just a little better. Let's get some more post-war suspension improvements. That'd be kind of good. It is 54 still. And what are we building up? More roads? Oh my goodness. So if you want to read about this, go right ahead again. It's the same thing every year. Heroes Memorial Day. It's an awesome event for Germany. And now we get 0.47 for now. And the manifesto. At least we get plus 15% stability, first of all. And plus 30% more political power. So hopefully we'll get at least one a day. But even then, that's still quite a bit. Why can't I crush the goddamn terror scum? Ah, why not? Oh. What's going on? Treaty of Honolulu? Ooh. A new nation enters the stage. Cool. Uh, let's see. APCs. Nice. Those are some thick vehicles. I love them thick. 0.47. We're almost there. Almost there. Wait, hold on. What are birth quotas? What? Birth quota? Oh my goodness. Hmm. Hmm. Quotas, huh? Mutual assistance. And we can only get 1.63. It's not bad. Uh, I want to do this, but we can't afford to lose political power right now. 10% more would be nice, we get 10% more here, so. Mutual assistance. Promises of power, wealth, and personal interest in exchange for assistance can create a strong sense of cooperative fervor amongst the party. With these, a mutual understanding is found and a solution towards a stable Germany. Alright, let's see, low support. And is it proclaimed Hitlerist, flexible times. And to these ideologies, Speer needs to acquire the necessary political support. Even if Speer chooses to be a performance moderate hardliner, he's got low support, which is not good. I want to do all this stuff, but we can't. Which is just garbage, because we're out of political power. But we'll see what happens. Maybe this is all part of the great plan for this campaign. Let's look at the companies, we might as well. And do helicopter stuff, because someone did say, or recommend uh, from the last video, that we should do some helicopter stuff. Come to Brazil to the German government from the Re Republic of Brazil Executive Branch Prime Minister's office. Warmest of greetings from our Brazilian state. We're honored, oh boy, 
to witness the strength of your military and the dedication of your peoples. The representative sends to guards as well, and hopes that the ambassador has recovered from his recent fervor. Fever. We write in the distressing news that the heroism of the German people and your rightful government has been threatened by the overwhelming monstrosities of the Jewish Bolshevik internationalist menace, the JBIM. JBIM. And that victory will be inevitably delayed. We wish to convey our most sincere material and financial support as far as we are able to give our limited resources, but our representatives are now authorized to offer a more substantial proposal. And the documents attached, here by name Operation Condor Germania, we can offer a covert retrieval of material and manpower assets from selected areas of the Atlantic. Should it be necessary to relocate your government, rest assured that our army and nation are pure of heart and heroic in value, and will protect your glorious government until the beauty of fascism can sprout anew in German soil. We hope you will consider this proposal. It is an honor to offer this extraordinary measure, and we are of the fullest confidence that you will come to accept it in time. Yours, Gois Montero, Prime Minister of the Republic of Brazil. You can always use other bases of operations. What the heck is going on down here? Uh, your paternal autocat, which, okay. Um, I think we looked at him yesterday, too, but... Hmm. God dang it. Okay, sure, why not? Why not? Also, someone recommends I play as, like, France. I think it's France in TNL, but maybe in France in this campaign. It'd be kind of cool to play as well. Let's see what happens. I, just, time is so limited. Like, that's probably the greatest limiting thing that I don't have is just I just don't have enough time I usually try to upload at least three maybe even four videos a day and even then it man if I had like a thread ripper or something like that a really powerful CPU then maybe I could do even more campaigns which actually sounds like a lot of fun but right now we cannot do that because I, I don't I can't afford one but that's okay what matters is the time that we spend together enjoying our journey towards uh domination of any sort regardless of ideology because I love Hoi 4 too much Oh, the Ang Angola. Ang Angolan War. Second Interparty Government. Oh, alright. Uh, can I get involved in this? Can I send volunteers? Attempted god dang a terror attack. No, we can't. Good work, boys. Only minus 959 political power now. We're on our way. We are quite on our way. Next up, helicopter. Let's get some helicopters. Fuck. Arkgelis FA 223. Cool. Ooh, the Arab Republic of Egypt. Escort patrols. Cool. Let's grab some convoy sailing. Italy breaks the pact from news from Rome arrived. The pact to seal the former alliance between our two nations, has, which has been left unrenewed but never officially cancelled, has been officially and unilaterally annulled by the Italian government. Citing geopolitical realities, they said that the alliance between our new nations, our two nations, which had long been deteriorated de facto, was now in all forms over. Uh, Y'all feeling okay? Because Daddy Speer is still here, doing a pretty good job. Ooh. The Mediterranean Pact, interesting. Uh, who's still in our alliance? So we still have, uh, obviously, us, Burgundy. We got mutual assistance. We've got Finland. We got Ostland. So we're gonna do that, but we're gonna go moderate approach because I want to get more political power quickly and some more and some more support. Getting support is always good. So a moderate approach. The so-called moderate ideology still retains a strong aspect of national socialism and is moderate in the same sense that it differs greatly from Goebbels' ideals. These sets of Speerism might be questionable, but they are well thought out by Speer himself. Point eight two. Not even a single political power a day. God dang it, that sucks. Uh, I need a minister of security, but we have no security guy here. I don't mind doing auto Tirak, but yeah. Ooh, actually, emergency council would not be bad. More political power. Uh, man, if we ever get into a naval battle, like our carriers are just going to be shrucking people's butts, which is kind of weird to say, but you know. Hey, look at that. Uh, it says heavy cruiser, but it's really just a light cruiser. Yeah, because of this design, we put it on light batteries. That's really nice. That's it. You guys. Yeah. I, why is it? Hmm. That's fine. As long as I keep an eye on this, it, it should be okay. Because the way it's set up here is weird. Oh, God dang it. Let's finally let, let them go on, though. Uh, yeah, the way it's set up is really weird. I'm not, I'll just mess with that every time we make new ships. It's fine. And every time it says heavy cruiser, it's actually a light cruiser, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, train if you need to. Use up all the oil reserves just because fuel is okay. We can always buy more fuel. But getting more naval XP might be challenging in the future if we can't use it. And it's help us speed, speed, speed along through our naval doctrine. Industrial contractor. I would love to do this stuff, but I don't think anything here gives us actual political power. Oh, there goes the Southwest Red Army Command. Goodbye. God dang, Reds. Stability plus 15% is no laughing matter. Holy crap. Old school politics. The illusion of equilibrium within the political structure is a great tool to ensure a long and fruitful leadership. More support, more national socialism, more stability, in which we lose eventually more national socialism, but don't tell that to anyone. The Reich's reform of shaping the NSDAP. Ooh. Business like nation, revamping the government. Eh, it's not bad. 
Uh, when can I get rid of those? Full liberalization sounds like fun. Oh, man. Free trade. Oh, God. Economy first policy. Defining Germania. Strongman politics. Not bad. More political power and stability. Oh, that's awesome. Let's grab some more logistic companies because we can. And good hospitals. We could do that. Eh, we can do that one too. Anything else around here? 54. Yeah. Sheet metal receivers would be very nice. Oh, look. We can do this too. There we go. Actually, hold on. Does that hurt us? No. That actually helped us with slightly more armor. That's not bad. Not bad. But we're still missing a lot of stuff. Actually, motorized is doing pretty well now. APCs are doing fine as well, but everything else is just god-awful. We need more military factories, but we can't really afford that anymore. Um, I really don't want to hurt my ability to make light cruisers. It's weird that in, in the Thousand Week Reich, for some reason, light cruisers are still considered heavy cruisers. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not World War II time, but it, it's still kind of weird in my mind to see it like that. We're still training just because we can, because I need army XP, so... Uh, you know what, for now, go and stop training. Uh, more terror attacks. Oh! China withdraws from Vietnam. Oh, that sucks. The Asian proletariat front. Oh, that sucks for you guys. Alright, so what are you guys doing? You got anything? Oh, aggressive assaulter. Yes! I love aggressive assaulter. So good. Uh, we're going to save other slots for later. Cool. Anyone else have upgrades? Jorg Hans. Panzer expert. Oh, you're leading infantry, though. Generalissimo and house rest. Oh, that's right. That's a one way to... Um, Get a different path for China is to lose a war against Vietnam, in which they don't have unique focus tree, which is fine. But actually, that'd be quite the challenge. As Vietnam, whenever they get, if they ever get a unique focus tree, defeat the Chinese. Now that sounds a little bit like a challenge. A bloodless coup in China. There you go. A new era for China. And old school politics is done. Old glory, great. The old glory of Germany back when Germany was at its peak. All but Speer has accomplished his task, and his leadership is no longer questioned. Which we get, uh, currently get 0.82. But with this, we'll get 10% more, and 20% more stability, which is very nice. The Russian Republic is going to war. Uh, so I asked you guys yesterday whether I should play as the USSR first, or should I play as the Russian Republic? And over the overall the support for this, was that I should play as the Russian Republic before I play as the USSR. Cool, I will probably then, if I remember. Um, I want to play as both, but like I said earlier, just time is such a limiting factor, it's not fun. That I can't do stuff, or can't do things that I really, really want to sometimes, but... Oh, Madagascar. Social Democrats, huh? Oh, they know... Hmm. They know... Oh, they got no factories, I guess that's why. Hey, we're doing really well, though. Getting rid of our deficit of political power, sheet metal receivers, thank you very much. Let's grab some inf infantry anti-tank 3. Awesome. Oh, another... Ah, and it's a light cruiser, good. At least it should function as a light cruiser, so we really have... Well, it's kind of hard to tell with these, some of these. Mm, I'm going to do some more uh, destroyer organization. Maybe we should get some destroyers, too. We've probably got time for it, you know. I only want to produce the best destroyers. Show outdated stuff. Let's see. We have level 2 stuff. You know what? Maybe we will. Let's do that. Oh, another division. Good. Another mountaineer. If you need a train, go ahead. If you don't, don't worry about it. Since we do have enough of this... Oh, mine laying... Oh, god dang it. We have so many terror attacks. It's like we can't do anything about it. Uh, if anything, go ahead and do rapid fire guns first. And then do some anti-sub stuff. Because that's what I use destroyers mostly for. Because I can put this on light cruisers, but it's okay. Torpedo 3s are good. Floating airfields. Let's grab level 2. Level 1. Not really... Oh, level 2. That's nice. Level 2 is pretty good. And That's not bad. We got some of that. We got some of the things here. If you can produce these fast enough, that'd be great. And let's do that, let's do that. And let's come down here. Carrier organization plus 20. More, more sortie efficiency. Um, we're, we're becoming a very carrier-oriented nation. Which is fine with me. I like that. Let's see, 10, 45, 45, 45, 45. Good. We got quite a few carriers, actually. And we have nothing there. Memorial Day of the Movement. Great. 20 more political powers. Always welcome. Always, always, always welcome. Ah. <sighs> I wish we could get involved. I want to conquer the Ukraine and Caucasus regions again. Um, over there, we could do this, but nah, we're going to wait. Now, is there anything over here we, we could do? 56? No, no. Uh, yeah, I guess some Mountaineers. Why not? We're already trying to use some. Cool. We've got a lot of time left for this stuff. But not too much for Old Glory. Great. Great, 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 great. I guess next up would be just doing Shpia's way, which we lose more political power. No! 
Ah, but we have low support still here. Purchasing political favors. Well, I'd like to purchase political favors, but it sounds like you need political power to purchase political favors, so I'm ca kind of in a bind. Hey, I'm gonna get more than one, hopefully. But let's do Spiel's way. Spiel has a plan. A great plan. The greatest plan. The Reich must change to stand, to stand a chance against the Toronto Accord. This plan is Spiel's way. The A of Reformation. The way of a new age for Deutschland. I want to do Spiel's economics. Uh, let's have him go on first for now. Oh my gosh, god dang it. Uh, let's see. Reforming the intelligence agency Reich's reform. Support for Spiel decreases. What happens? Can support go so low that we can't do anything here? Or just shaping these guys? Nation like businesses. Yeah, from the government. Uh, economy first. Spare economics. We gotta get all the way down here to do anything. Wow. That's a long way away. Oh, Republic of China, the Tibetan Autonomous State Government. Can I. I wanna send volunteers. Oh, I wanna send volunteers. I like pyramids. Question of the caste. Oh boy, maybe I don't like this. Maybe I don't like the pyramid then. So now you're led by Chen Cheng. Okay, so did the focus tree change? Let's see. The left is. Yes, it. Well, uh, technically, no, it did not change on the left side. No, Goy's elected president in France. Let's see, so this is all the same. Even when I played as China, this you didn't, you didn't really take, do this path at all. It was easy. Uh, the, this did change over here, though. The navy didn't change. Blue skies over China did not change. This stuff didn't change much either. The Chinese economy is exactly the same. Uh, let's see, is it something further to the right? Yes, it's exactly the same as when I played it. But with under this guy, this is a new treat. You get President Chen or President Li destroy the cult, the charming chairman. And they get more conservatism. And over here, you grab eh, some stuff. The Nanning speech, the Great Purge. Ooh. Cracking the families. Ooh. The Chen plans. National Revolution. Under one banner. Contact the CC. Oh my goodness. P. And the Purge. Unification fever. Uh, let's see. Ending the insurgency. Our righteous crusade. Three principles. Oh, that's pretty good. Doesn't give you much, though. End martial law. Martyrs of the Republic. So that's pretty cool. What's a major difference between these two? Because it looks like this guy is more conservative. This guy is... I don't know. He's got purges. The Fourth Republic. Dismantling the cliques. Hmm. Cool. And next up for us is reforming the intelligence agencies. Sicherheitsdienst, Abwehr, Gestapo, Abt or Abteilung von der Heer Ost. And there are many overlapping agencies that hold immense power and influence within German political stage or military. One of Speer's bright reform ideas is to cut down and limit the size of these agencies and turn the system into a more centralized bureaucracy. We lose stability. That is not what I like to see. <laughs> uh, why? Why must we lose stability? This is 1970. There's no. There's literally no artillery dev development apparently. Between uh, 1950 to 1960, it appears to be. Between 19, besides this, we got one development for 20 years. We have one. We have one improvement. Has anyone ever used flak panzers? Oh my goodness, the deficit went back up. Oh my goodness, it's like it's like the GDP mechanic in uh, TNO for me right now. Like, oh my goodness, why? Every time I try to fix it, it gets worse. <laughs> Oh, it's a happy 1955, though. Uh, we can do all this stuff, which would be great, but that doesn't help us with our PP. If anything, if we did, like, no focuses, then we could probably get through this, like, twice as fast, but... Mm -hmm. There's literally nothing I can do about it. Except use console commands, and I don't want to use that. So we're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, APC is lower to, to one for now. That'd be okay. How many guns we got? We're good on guns now. That's nice. Good on that. APCs and motorized. I don't want to do this, but go down to 15. Share the wealth, and by wealth, I mean gun factory wealth, so. 1.05 day. The Navy's looking great, I'll be honest. The Navy's looking fantastic. And we got our, our, our Air Force all sorted out to be great. We got some Mountain Infantry, and that's a way too ahead of time. Engineering. Uh, it's 55. Let's go in here and do construction speed, because why not? And Falkers? Yes. Or Falk Agelis. And we'll do the Flettner, Flettner FL-282. I mean, declare war on them. Good luck, guys. Integrated convoy defense. Uh, we're going to wait on this. Let's do some more of this. Let's grab some... Hmm, decentralization, centralization. I kind of want to centralize my stuff. 10%. More vulnerability, though. 100% chance. You get more factories with centralizing. I'm going to go concentrated this time. I normally choose, like, dispersed. 
This uh, concentrator sounds like something I'd do differently, so. Uh, Falk Wolf. Cool, I guess we'll deploy you all, as long as you, you guys upgrade into the next level. You should upgrade to the next level. Don't disappoint me. And enable this for consume fuel. Heroes Day, great. Great, 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 great. Select half of you guys, and then come to there. Ah, that's a premacy, which we'll read about next. Oh, wait, or not. So, with the relevancy of the Schutzstaffel intelligence services is diminishing in mainland Germany, the bureaucratic chaos that is German intelligence agencies with their overlapping responsibilities is now on Speer's radar. To cut this disastrous trend, Speer has drafted a plan to further empower the Abwehr, ensuring a centralized intelligence agency with clear goals, handing the great task of intelligence to Hans Alster, or Oster. While this reform was done under the pretext of improving national security, in reality, Speer simply wants to divert funds to his own projects by cutting down the amount of unnecessary departments within the German system. The Abwehr will do a great job. We lose, we lose political power every day? Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, why, why, why do you pay me? How do we do this? Oh, we need, oh my gosh, we need more than 99 political power. Has enough political support in which we do not. Well, I guess we're doing stuff for uh, the here, maybe, let's see. Recruitment time, I want to get rid of this. Oversized Kriegsmarine, that does not seem very good. So let's go with Gross Deutsche Kriegsmarine. The Kriegsmarine, in theory, is a sharply honed instrument ready at all times to serve the Reich in defense of our interests. We would increase the battleships on par with the latest British models. It is a floating wall and rampart of Germany and the pride of the Fuhrer himself. That is, of course, in theory. In practice, the Kriegsmarine barely deserves the title of Navy. What remains of the Civil War's carnage is badly outdated, massively underequipped, and utterly financially broken. We must act swiftly to modernize it, lest the jackals of the West destroy us for our weakness. Oh, hold on. We can actually do this. Okay, what happened? What happened? Why can't I do this now? I don't care. We're going to crush some god dang terrorist scum. Yeah. Woo. Thumbs up for crushing some terrorists. <laughs> uh, cap. Yeah, this gives you more cap. Mass production. Very nice. Improved capabilities. I mean, we might as well, right? 0.95. Not even a single political power day. God dang it. That sucks. Whew. Not bueno, my friends. Not bueno. Well, we're trying to get rid of that stuff, so that's okay. Uh, there's really nothing we can do about it. You just have to accept it. Get some more military factory construction speed, so when we actually do want to build stuff, we'll be okay ourselves. Experimental helicopters. Uh, I'm kind of okay. I'm not sure. Actually, let's come over here. Support companies. We can't do this yet. What do we need? Henschel FL295S. Polio vaccine declared safe. Hey, that's pretty good. And shall is this 295B? And shall? And shall 295B? Well, I thought we have S. Oh, FL295S, there it is. Extremely flat and fast. Scout helicopters are used for reconnaissance purposes. Okay, hey, range is not bad. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll use them, maybe we won't. I don't know. Spare your goal of trying to get all any, any sort of political power has uh, been nuts. But I try my best to never use console commands. Mayday, thank you. Thank you, workers. God dang it, terrorists. Only, almost only, minus 600. But it seems like we got all the time in the world to do it because hopefully no one goes to war with us. Hopefully China did something interesting, maybe. Uh, how's America doing? They live by Dewey? Some guy named Dewey? Or, yeah. Who the heck are you? And the, ah, with the counter-terrorist operations, we've successfully and finally... Uh, end of the Swiss resistance in the main regions of Germany. While we cannot wipe out the Swiss resistance in Switzerland, the leaderships of the Swiss resistance in Germany have been arrested and executed, as they should. Kriegsmarine. Oh, total warfare. No, oh, our military reforms, decentralized or formalized doctrines. Expand the draft. I like that. Oh, wow. Every week? That's. Uh, that's mm, that could be broken if you get grab that early enough. But I think we're doing okay. Let's go do Wolfpack training. No, oh, screw it. I'm going to get. Oh, my goodness. Like. Train new NCOs, reinforcement rate, plus 20%. God dang! Holy crap! Overgrown officer corps, revitalize the, ar the army. That's not bad for a year. Central research department. That's not bad. Expand the draft. People store more attack. Mobilize a stockpile. That's that's like worthless. Purge the high command. Uh, let's see. Let more division training time. Uh, let's see. So you get more research speed. Basically, you get 20% reinforce rate. I'll be honest. Like... Oh, I love Germany. We might have enough manpower for the end of time. We might not. We might just do total warfare. Because army XP is not really worth it. I mean, yeah, I need it right now, but... 
more war support is great. Gross Deutsch is here. The Gross Deutsch is here. The land force component of the Wehrmacht is the largest and most decorated of the three branches, despite achieving massive victories in the east and west alike. The Hale has finally fallen from its glory days a decade ago, lacking the destructive and fearsome power it once had. We must bring back the Hale into fighting shape if we are to once again be ready for anything that may befall our great nation. And that's weekly manpower. That's 6,000 people a month, which is not much, but it's better than what you recruit every month. The forces of the Creek Marine do not pursue open combat with the British during the war, favoring starving the British Isles to break their will. With the British uh, setting a peace treaty in 41, the focus of the war became the Russian front, and with that, token blockades were sent to the Baltic Sea. Beyond that, the Kriegsmarine had little else to do to bring German victory. In initial post-war years, it was deemed necessary for the Kriegsmarine to rival, if not overshadow, the British Navy, and thus, expansion occurred. However, in recent years, it has proven not to be a worthwhile investment. The Americans, veterans of naval warfare from the war with the Japanese, have proven a far greater threat from the, than the British with the combined strength. Germany, can, of course, cannot match them at sea. So the Kriegsmarine were left as they were, oversized, outdated, and outmatched. The status quo cannot continue the Reichs to remain do dominant. Control of the seas. And my friends, I can happily say that we're minus 600 political power now. It's going to take a little bit more than 600 days to get through this, though. Oh, I, I, we might have the time for that. We really might do. So we're going to try to speed through it as fast as possible. Republic of India looking pretty good. United pretty much all of India. Oh, now this is a point of contention now. Pakistan. Mr. Cool Hat Guy. What do you think about India invading Kashmir? And Burma. <laughs> oh, that worked out very well for us. Uh, China, are you going to do anything about this? Xinjiang oil? Very cool, very cool. Uh, Burma, I would love to help you out, but... You know what I'd also love to see? If China and India just kill each other as hard as they possibly can for prestige. Or just because they want to. Please kill each other off. Please, 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 please. Ooh, I like really nice. And there it goes, Norris. Let's see, you guys are looking... Not bad. So some of you guys are... Yeah, these, this is the light cruiser we made. This is the heavy cruiser version that was originally made, which looks pretty god-awful. Eh, it's actually not that bad, but it's not great. Why would you put torpedoes on heavy cruisers? Do you want them to puncture the screens? Or what? I don't know. I know let's never put torpedoes on cruisers, because if you want to do that, just use subs, or maybe even destroyers. Do you guys ever use heavy cruisers? Because I never found really a really good role for heavy cruisers in general. Like, I love battle cruisers, the pocket battleships. I love subs. Light cruisers are like destroyers, but they're just, I think just a little bit stronger. Like every cruiser is like worth three destroyers. But what I hear, well, for what I heard back in the day, it might change, might have been changed. Uh, but heavy cruisers, I don't know, man. It just don't seem like just really being the firepower that they really need. Oh wait, we can't do this one. Oh, we can't do total warfare. Okay, that makes sense why we can't do that. Military reforms, then. The hail is a force that can only be saved through reform, both organizationally and training-wise. Anything other than complete reform will result in so far performances and lacking improvement, which is unacceptable. Let us revive the grandest army in the world from the ground up, and like a great phoenix, it shall rise more powerful than ever. The Vat mocked the most infamous ground armies of the German Reich. The years have not been kind to them. It's no secret that during the European War, the forces of Germany were overstretched and at times close to a breaking point. It cannot be more true than it was with the Vat mocked. Though the initially successful Operation Barbarossa, the Russian insurgency, and the numerous scattered land campaigns against the British, French, and our allies, the land armies of Germany were well worn. Manpower shortages at the time were especially concerning. Reich's propaganda at the time did its job in hiding, but hiding it. But the Wehrmacht was a wounded, overworked wolf, barely capable of fighting for much longer. And it's little wonder then that today's Wehrmacht is so content to rest on its accomplishments. After the treaties that have secured the Reich's future, the Wehrmacht was left to its own devices. With such effort expanded in the war, the hierarchy, training, and even discipline of our armies was left stagnant. The same generals, the same officers, the same training, the Wehrmacht fails to adapt to its changing times. Instead, they leverage their greatest victories to excuse any a lack of action. The army, army, the army must change. Oh, construction too. Very nice. Get some extraction too as well, or I mean excavation too. In which we'll get concentrated industry, and then we shall focus on something else. Planes, drop tanks. Yes. Oh, poor Burma. Nice. Uh, very nice. Actually, with us training, this is gonna really hurt. Like. Our ability, well, to keep fuel, but our ability to keep ships from doing this too much, but it is what it is. Cruiser, carrier, destroyer, carrier, cruiser, that's not bad. Uh, 0.95. Still building roads in Turningen. Can I actually build things here, maybe? Can I build things here yet? Okay, so we can. So I guess I will for now, especially in Germania, Russian Republic. The USSR seems very peaceful right now. This is very weird. Well, maybe they're not super peaceful, but the Russian Republic is definitely not peaceful. Oof. 
military reforms, very good, we'll formalize the doctrines next. Despite the revolutionary concepts of Guderian and Lutz regarding panzer divisions that have granted us outstanding success in the East and West, they've never been recognized or arranged into a proper military training or doctrine or concept. If they hear us to act effectively, we shall either embrace maneuver warfare fully as a complete doctrine of force or renounce it entirely. We must choose a path to follow. That is the only way that here can continue to strive for greatness and get minus minus 15% land doctrine research speed. Okay. Military construction, great, and which we'll do some of that stuff in a little bit. Heavy aircraft. Uh, I'm gonna really need this one. We're already doing that one right there. Air doctrines, air, uh, air superiority, mission efficiency, which seems to be okay. Maybe not the best thing, but still. What do we have? APCs, guns, motorized. We have uh, some stuff here. Medium tanks. We're definitely lacking quite a few things. And artillery wise, we are minus 886. Even if I wanted to change this up a little bit, we really don't have the strength, the output to really do so, but I don't care. We're going to do this anyways. Because the Mountaineers are worth it. And we have the Army XP, so we might as well use it, right? Mountaineers, 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 Mountaineers. Oh, we can't use that many. God dang it. And these guys are still 20 combat with, right? That's fine. Maintenance companies, uh, support artillery we actually would be fine with them. Angola mass production, nice. Ukraine is falling apart, which is great to see after they, you know, they got rid of us. Big sadness, big sadness. 1960, eh, stuff is okay, no. Support companies, yeah, you might as well do field hospitals because we can. Because we can. Hey, minus 500 now. Minus 500. We're a fanatical dictatorship, very cool. We cannot remove that, which sucks. We get, well, we lose political power because of that. There goes Kashmir, which should provoke a cr oh, That looks disgusting. That's really disgusting. India, why don't you release Burma? Or, oh, um, Pakistan, can you do something about this, please? Or China? Somebody? I mean, look at us, we're looking nice. We, we kind of, like, avoid the rest of Europe going up north, except for, you know, Gotland, but there's a Slovakia under us. Oh. That's kind of nice. Toronto Accords, what are they doing? They're just kind of hanging out, having a good time. For us, we're stagnating, which is not good. Ooh, and there goes Krasnoyarsk. And we are still number two. Oh, the British, the British are third. Uh, we need why we need to improve ourselves. Come on, please. Keep building. Keep building, please. Formalize the doctrines. Revitalize the army. Let's get some. Let's train some new NCOs. So, non-commissioned officers are the base of every army, tasked with executing or executing operations and instructing the soldiers under them in how to best reach the strategic goals that they must achieve. Despite their pivotal role in the smooth functioning of the Wehrmacht, the Hale suffers from a critical lack of well-trained and well-educated NCOs to lead our men. Universities shall be expanded, schools will, must be built, and with effort and ingenuity, we shall succeed. At least we hope so. It's almost going to be soon. 56. So, that'd be nice. As we slowly improve ourselves and desperately attempt to build up our industrial sector some more. May 30... Oh my gosh, wait. May 31st. That's going to take so long. Wow. I mean, I'm, I'm glad earlier, like, if we didn't get to partial mobilization when we began this campaign, Trans Caucus Federation, like, we would probably not be building even more slowly. Oh my goodness. The Mountain Republic is there. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Look at all those debuffs we could have had. Military staff. Oh, and Rommel's still here. More attack for armor divisions. And here, Marines organization. That's not bad. Yodel. Hmm. And actually, if we were to, we could keep going up. Ah, remember the beer hall? Great. We'll take as much political power as we can possibly get right now. And 8 out of 8. We're going to get point, almost point nine a day. God. Oh, oh, wow. One a day. Wow. Good, 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 good. How is uh, Hemi doing? Rocketry. Mm, of course he would be doing rocketry. Of course he would. Oh, they're out of manpower. Oh, that is not ideal. And how's Italy doing? They could go democratic if they wanted to. Talks with... What? Talks with Britain? Which path is that? Wow, this is a big old tree. I'm not seeing it. Talks with Britain. Oh, there it is. Excavation, security against... Our holy duty. De Entente. Oh, they do. Oh, the other way. Mutual. Request American aid. A southern European front. Reconquering Albania. Oh, they're going to go to war with Albania with the help of America? Wow. Very violent of you. Very, very violent of you. Anything else over here? 1960 stuff? Not really yet. Yeah, we can't really do anything down here. Kind of sucks. Get, grab, grab some more landing craft, though. That'd be kind of okay. Nice. Oh, that's so ahead of time. Oh, my goodness. 
That stuff is so ahead of time. Oh my goodness. Just do large scale jet engines because we can. Why not? Training new NCOs sound like a great thing to do. That's also, let's see, there's nothing else we can do on the left for now. So, revitalize the army, why not? So, the hail has grown stagnant in the past decade, lacking proper equipment, and squandering away the scant material that we do have. We must increase our efforts to not only produce more, but to ensure that no armament will be lost or misused due to bureaucracy or incompetency in the hail's ranks. We get 20% more factory output for a year, which is not bad. It's it's okay. It, it, it exists. We'll put it like that. Um, I'm not really sure which one we choose. Should I do strategic theorem? Asymmetric warfare doctrine or combined operations. I'll let you get you guys decide. I never know which one I wanted to use or do, and I don't really understand them as well because we don't have like mass mobilization. So special forces, tactical destruction, independent formations, covert production, uh, spearhead points, concurrent frontal assault. So it sounds like a mass mass assault right there. But I'll let you guys decide which one we should do. I'll let you guys decide just because I'm open to whatever. I really am. I'm not pulling any way too hard, so floating fortresses, why not? We love floating fortresses, especially since we have the naval XP for almost roughly 0.1 a day, maybe 0.8. And 100% people love the National Socialist Movement. Hey, minus 400 political power, not bad. I could give myself political power, but maybe this is just all required of us to do. Just because we do have need to go through this side, as much as I want to do the, like the economy stuff, maybe this is actually built in to be like this just because, I don't know, that's just the way the game rules work. Can, well, we can send volunteer forces, okay. Can, oh, can I help out in Russia here? Like, at National Republic of Ukraine? Probably not. World tension has to be at 30%. Ooh. I'd like to support you, if anyone, but still, we'd prefer the Ukraine, the actual, the real Ukraine. Kars Vasily? Ah, there's my Confederate Russians. Young Russian Committee. Nice. 20%. Hey, this is done well for our anti-tank. It's doing slightly better for even tanks. Flying formations or formation fighting. Flying, hunt and destroy. Yes, please. Good. Or at least we're doing better here. Anything else here? We got more what? Anything else? Not really. We just need more factories. We just can't produce enough. But happy 1956, my friends. New year. Maybe better us. I mean, the Navy's doing pretty well, I'd say. I think they're doing great. Light ships, uh, go right there because you can. At this point, I'm not really sure about how the Navy's looking because we've got some task force that are just massive, and I'm as, as interested as I am in it. Uh, it's, it's kind of already set the way it is. But Central Research Department, research and development in the Reich's past has often been plagued with bureaucracy and lack of coordination between branches, heavily hampering our efforts to develop revolutionary new weapons or concepts. We should unify the various separate sects sets of researchers teams into one central committee research department allowing us to facilitate interworking between teams and greatly improving efficiency which will give us 15 percent more research speed i know the thing hasn't been done yet but that's fine that's fine i don't really care now we can do it there we go and then we'll do reform the recruitment system which will get rid of nazi recruitment system and reform recruitment system which gives us more less division training time minus 30 percent recruitable population factor holy crap that's terrible oh my goodness Hold on, so what is the Nazi recruitment system? We, so we basically get pl plus 0 0.1 division recovery rate, minus... Okay, so basically we don't lose any more manpower. It's already minus 30%. Holy cow. And plus 100% division training time. Who came up with that idea? I think it was West Ukrainian National Republic, so be it whatever. Over here. So you get at least a change of minus 111% for division training time. And you get more planning speed at least. And daily command power gain, which is not bad, but if you're not using it, do you really need it? Probably not. And carrier battle groups. Awesome! Main battle tanks. Anti tank is looking pretty good now. Hmm. Hey, the Republic of Ukraine exists in Kharkov. 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 However you pronounce that. Uh, let's go with. I really don't want to lower this too much. Five. Because we got enough guns right there. We need to spread, share the wealth, so. That's why we're doing it like this. Wow, we definitely need more carrier fighters. Wow. At least make one at a time for each one. For fighters. Oh. Fighter CV, fighter CV, fighter one, fighter. Hmm. Mm, maybe not that one, but this one. There we go. That's better. I must have not been making any carrier close air support at all. Remember to glory to the heroes. Great. That helps us out quite a bit. What are we doing for these guys? You guys doing okay? Well, you guys have upgrades, maybe? 
We do have command power, so don't be shy. Uh, Panzer Expert, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. See what happens. Cool. And what to do? This one next. Refund or reform the recruitment system. The current recruitment system that has been used for many years has begun to show its flaws. Many able-bodied men are not allowed to serve due to anachronistic restrictions, and when training doesn't commence, it's slow and inefficient. This is absolutely unacceptable, and we shall begin a great restructuring process to improve the system. But I cannot tolerate this for any longer. Pretty much. Pretty much. Cool. And this episode is basically much dedicated to getting rid of our deficit of political power and improving our army. Like, no, no joke. Like, we got, we really had to improve the army, and we're kind of forced to go down this path, which is. Maybe not what I really, really wanted, but that's okay. Ukraine, it's kind of, I'm not going to lie, it looks a little ugly here in this, in this version, but... That's, oh, they didn't even have cores in this area. So let's buy this Bandera. Oh, he's fascist. Eastern Spring. Okay, well. Liberty Ethos, but he's a fascist. Well, I guess Liberty, fa Fascist Liberty? Is that, is that even a thing? I don't know, man. Shidel's... Shell dies. Shidels. What are Shidels? Shell dies. Oh, Hero's Day's gone. Landing craft. Let's grab some. No. Uh, no. All this stuff is ahead of time now. Oh my goodness. Naval auction. Because we can. Submarine operations. Sweet. Large scale jet engines. Might as well. Oh, and they just went to war with. Uh, Strap bomber range. I guess. Uh, Italy has gone to war with Croatia. Oh, can I help you out? I should get an option to at least help them out if they're fighting the Italians. That's not cool if I can't help them out. I mean, they, the Croatians were already beat up by the Hungarians earlier, off screen, but this is so sad. I'm so sorry, Croatia. I wish I could help you. I really wish I could. But the game rule said no. No. Oh, man. Look at that tank division. It's slowly dying, but it's still holding out. Uh, just hold, hold the river. Just hold the river. That's all you need. Why can't I send the volunteers? Mayday. Thank you, workers. Thank you very much, workers. 50 political power. Oh, they actually came back. Come on, show me some Italian incompetency. I want to see Croatia win the war. Croatia in Rome. Come on, carry battle groups. Nice. Go in and let's see. Ooh, we're running out of things to do here. Oh, no. Uh, engineering? No? Marines. Yeah, Marines. Yeah, Marines will be good. More infantry. Nice. No, don't lose the grab. No, you just lost the grab. You just lost the war. Oh, come on. Now they're not going to be independent. Italy, you're trying to get closer to the Toronto Accords, but you just killed people. What the heck? Croatia, the same guy's elected. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. And I think they got rid of their unique focus. I think, yeah, they did have unique focus tree, but now they have a generic one. That's so sad. Combat unit of destruction. Cool. Yes, please. Republic of India has declared war. Oh, Pakistan. This is getting terrible. Unify the regional commands. The various regional theaters and army groups of the Hale act not in unison but in conflict with each other. The situation has evolved into a constant battle of bureaucrats and administrators attempting to get more men, supplies, and resources into the soldiers' hands to the detriment of the entire Wehrmacht. We shall finally rectify this error that has been allowed to fester for years by unifying the many regional commands into consolidated command structures all under the watchful eye of Mania. More speed, division organization, less attrition, and more planning speed, which should help out quite nicely. And the world still somehow is only twenty percent world tension. This could be. I mean, I guess they're not they're not nuclear powers yet. But why why is nothing happening here? Like, why can't we help Pakistan? Why is no one helping out Pakistan? If anything, this is a huge event. India trying to murder Pakistan. I mean, yeah, maybe the USSR can't really help them out, or even the Russian Republic. But this is, at least in my mind, this is still pretty important. I mean, without China here to bully India, no one's going to keep the balance power power here. I kind of want to see India now go like go to war with Afghanistan, the Imperial State of Iran. I want them to take out all Southeast Asia. Oh, that is oh well, we're back with the Raj, but led by uh led by Bose, the audio electric audio company Bose. He's a social democrat. He's socially democrat democratizing Pakistanis and Burmese people and Kashmiri people. All right, it's up to him. Not my country. Shell dies. Very, very good. What else we got down here that we can do right now? Nothing. Cool. Next up, armor. We could do... I, I might end up doing IFV stuff because we are running out of things. Get Screw it. Get the flak pounds off. We have a highly industrialized economy. It's a very nice thing. Well, it looks like we made at least maybe one more factory, but 99 consumer goods. Oh, man, that hurts. 
The Malgon Pippers, a crisis between the former allies. Well, I'm, I'm a little surprised that it happened so late now. It's already 56. The game starts at 52, if I remember correctly, so... Oh, wow. Oh. 0% stability and 0% war support. Oh, my goodness. Good on manpower. But then again, it's China. What do you expect? Moscow Red Army. 38 divisions. How's Auslan doing, actually? But we'll look at Auslan once we unify... Uni Unify the regional commands with Wolfpack training. Wolfpack tactics, a form popular term for complex series of mass submarine operations, gave us victory in the last war against the formidable foreign opponents. The imagined threat of our slowly clenched fists quelled the British, warded off the Americans, and secured our western flank. Now it is time to reinvest in the U-boats use in warfare to su a, su a vastly changed naval environment. There have, of course, been worries as to whether the newfangled carriers of America will prove vulnerable to mere submarines. We've assured that the Navy that they will, we will modernize the rest of our forces to provide countermeasures that, to air power and advanced strikes. But let us hope we can actually follow through. More submarine attack. We should probably invest in subs if we get more sub attack. That's nice. Actually, you know what? I don't want to mess with this, so just do that. There you go. Chinese-American Cold War. Former allies turn against one another. Uh, that usually happens. Cool. And for you guys, it doesn't matter. Just do either one of these groups. I don't want to get, be bothered with that anymore. If you want to do some upgrades, that's fine with me. And we have now minus 100 political power in terms of deficit. So, just waiting it out. I guess that is the literal goal of the developers, I assume. So, I'm not saying it's wrong or good or bad. Just, it is what it is. It, it, at least we got to focus on our military more. Except the Air Force. I don't know why the Air Force was left out, but that's just me. The Luftwaffe never existed. Never. Marines too. How about we get some paratroopers? Because we can. Because things are locked behind 1960s tech. Which I kind of understand now that I see the same reason why the developers might keep us at minus a 12, 1300 political power here. Just because they want you to research everything. Because so, the military should be should have some capabilities and everything. But we'll see what happens. Submarine operations, aerial refueling, undersea blockade, cool. And Messerschmitt's ME 323. Yes, please. More shippies. Ah, oh, another light cruiser. Great. That's a lot of ships over here. A lot of battleships. Is it? Of course, the Schmittler would be the uh, king class battleship. Hopefully, he doesn't die. Flak Panzers. We love Flak Panzers. Let's grab some improved firepower for our Flak Panzers, which we'll never make. Uh, heavy SPAA. Mm, I don't think that'll be useful for us. We can barely make tanks as is. Go do that for now. Let's keep making some carrier fighters. Wolfpack training, nice. Expand dockyard capabilities. Yes, please. Quantity or has a quality all of its own, as our Russian enemies discovered to their immense regret in the Eastern War. Just as our tanks and our armies overran one position after another in the mass concentrations, so too shall our cruisers and submarines overwhelm the forces of international Jewry through sheer numbers as well. A little relaxation of safety standards and rapid expansions of the port facilities will begin the process of expansion. Soon we will have a fleet that shall dock in the seabed itself, and the skies will tremble with its firepower. A whole two dos naval dockyards. Which would be nice, because we actually really, really, could, really could use those, so. That would be quite plain out, and my goal was to get out of this deficit of political power, and we've done a pretty gosh darn good job so far. I could not do a focus and get more political power every day, but, mm, we'll see. We shall, uh, see. Combat unit destruction, awesome. Grab some tact bombing, strategic bombing stuff. Or stra maybe tactical bomber strategic bombing capabilities. That'd be muy bueno. We're doing okay on this as well. We've been using up our naval bot, uh, XP quite a bit. And that's okay. What are the French up to? The France of tomorrow. You guys under Pinar expand colonial divisions. Portugal is just like, doing construction stuff. Italy is accept European refugees. That doesn't sound very fascist of you, but okay. What do you mean refugees? You went to war with Croatia. From where, where, I mean, maybe the refugees are from, like, Eastern Europe? Because I could see that, maybe. Other than that, I mean, maybe people will try to flee Burgundy, but... I don't know, man. I don't know. Just a couple days left. Uh, two weeks, literally two weeks, for expanding dockyard capabilities. And we should probably go ahead and do fit the Navy. It's not enough to build one Navy's into naval dominance. One must also rebuild the old. For it would be a crime to consign these millions of wasted Reichsmarsh to the waste paper... Waste paper benefit history. No matter how utterly terrible the Kriegsmarine is in its present state, we can at least salvage the armaments and holds of our light vessels. We will redesign our cruisers and destroyers to serve a lighter, more durable purpose in combat. This should also help with our crippling oil dependence, with which will relieve the accountants thoroughly. We get more naval XP. Nice. 
We get some of this. Let's grab some convoy interdiction. We're almost done with our naval doctrine already. Holy cow. Uh, ground support integration. Great, great, great. And my friends, we have done it. We have one political power which will end and conclude today's video. If you enjoyed today's video and we got out of our deficit of 1300 political power, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below and I'll see you tomorrow in which we will enact some of Speer's reforms. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.